sniffles, sneezes, smartphones. Allergy <laughs> season is in full effect, which means pollen is all over the place, including on our tech devices. Yes, but there are some easy mm -hmm. things that we can all do to keep our phones clear of pollen and help ease our allergies just a little bit. Yeah, Chad Hafman from AT&T is here with five tips we all need to know. Chad, good morning. And it yeah. seems like allergies are really bad this mm -hmm. year. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, even though we got a lot of rain last night, it's, scientists are still saying it's going to be the worst, you know, se season ever when it comes to pe uh, allergies. And those allergens can get anywhere, right? And they can get especially on our smartphones and our tablets and, and starts that, you know, that cycle of sneezing and watery eyes. And those who have allergies know exactly what I'm talking about. So think about where you're taking your tech. We have phones up with us almost all the time. And then that pesky pollen gets into us. And as we know it, pollen has a way of getting into everything. Yes. So walk us through these tips so that we can avoid this happening. Yeah, so got five tips, you know, and get your pen and paper out, especially those who suffer from, you know, allergies. First off, clean it consistently. You know, we have a quick clean. You can just use an antibacterial wipe or, you know, an alcohol wipe that is ISO propyl, easy for me to say, 70% for that, let it dry for five minutes. That's the easy one. That's the one you want to probably do weekly. The, the other one is your deep clean. And that's, this is more, this is more obviously more involved, but if you're sick or you, you know, you've fear the allergy season, this is a great way to kind of get, you know, get you in the mode to like really clean it off. First off, you want to turn your device off grab a, and take the case off. Second, grab a micro, micro tile, wipe it down to get the device full of uh, removed of fingerprints and anything that might be stuck to it. Get an antibacterial wipe, something um, with the micro tile, make sure you get all the stuff off there. Sorry, I missed that piece. Then with the with that antibacterial wipe, use something like a Lysol wipe or you know, paper towels with 70% alcohol solution. The one thing to keep in mind though is don't get it soaking wet. Phones are waterproof. I'm sorry, water resistant, not waterproof. And what that means is you want to get that stuff squeezed out and get all that excess out of there just to make sure. And then we want to wipe it down. Let the phone dry for five minutes. Grab another fresh microfiber towel um, or paper towel, preferably microfiber towel. And then finally, you know, apply the same process to the case. Second tip. Don't share your smartphone. This is easier said than done, right? Mm -hmm. We we have a lot of people who like to, you know, share phones, look at the baby kind of deal. You know, we can send those. We can airdrop them. We can send them via text, you know, and that's an easy way for to get those taken care of. Second, you know, quick tip is like when we get new contacts, we run into people in social settings. Don't give them the phone. Let that let, you know, what I like to always do is I'll send them a text because for me it makes it easier because then I just say, "Hey John, nice meeting you." what's your phone number and I'll type it in. I got my contact right there and they don't touch the device. So it makes it real easy for you. Third piece, minimize how much you pull out your smartphone in public. Another easier said than done tactic, right? For those who live on your smartphone or who work with cell phones, it's easier said than done. But, you know, maybe keep it, try to keep it in your pocket, use hands-free. Um, you know, when your payments, use your credit cards, just do the one tap. You know, a lot of them have that one tap. Just look for it and it makes it real simple. When you're shopping, use handwritten notes. Don't put it on your smartphone because again, that pesky pollen can just pop up anywhere. And then you have hands-free devices press up against your face. Again, just like any allergies, if you get it up against your face, you'll get that sneezing thing going. So speaking of hand-free devices, this is our fourth point, invest in some. Like right now I'm using with the air interview, I'm using my AirPods. It's a great way to communicate. As you can see, I use my hands all the time, but you have AirPods from, you know, they're the more expensive ones, but they start, you know, most are Bluetooth or hands-free stuff starts at 25 bucks and works all the way up. The Apple stuff is 170 to 250. So it makes it real simple. And those who have been, you know, have had Bluetooth in the past, Bluetooth has come a long way and, and your communication sounds a lot better. You can hear your phone calls in your ear, you can hear the text message. So it's gone a long way. And there's speakers as well. The last thing I would say is think about purchasing antibacterial cases, outer box symmetry cases, spec candy shell. We have screen protectors that can go a long way. But again, you know, a lot of this stuff we're talking about is correlated to allergies, but it also goes with bacteria too. So these germs and bacteria can make it simple for your sniffling, or, you know, improve or make it better to keep your sniffling, sneezing, coughing, keep those eyes from getting red. Because the bottom line is, 
you know, the cleaner we are, the cleaner our phone is and vice versa. So this is no matter, this is true no matter what time of the year, whether it's this time of the year for allergy season or flu season, or even when the cold start kicking up or when kids go back to school. So this is a great habit to kind of get in the process of doing and hopefully it'll help, uh, you know, keep that, uh, make it a little easier for those who uh, have allergies. Yeah, those are, I was thinking as you were mentioning all of these are good year round tips. Yes, yeah, not just during. Uh, and think about how much season. we have these in our hands and, you know, setting them down, different places. Oh my goodness, the germs. So are there any things that we should avoid to clean our phones with? Yeah, and and we're, we're, we're taking this from CNET, who's, a, who's very tech savvy, but, you know, hand sanitizer, window cleaner, you know, kitchen cleaners. Like, you know, when you're using the stuff, like I told you, use it damp, don't use it dripping. So that rubbing alcohol, not very good. Compressed air kind of surprised me on this. So be used with caution. Um, you know, it's one of those where, you know, dish soap, vinegar, those are the things that I would probably try to avoid as much as possible. Even though they're very good cleaning stuff, it's not really good for your device. Yeah, Chad, I hate to admit, but I I've think, done several of those. I think everything on that list <laughs> I've used. <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I used a couple of myself, so I was like, ooh, I gotta, I'll pull that one away. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now we know, though. Chad yes, told us. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, we appreciate you joining yeah. us as always, Chad. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Y'all have a great weekend. Thank you, you so much. <laughs>